You're listening to Praying Radio. Inspirational and prophetic prayers all around the clock. Listen every day, everywhere, every time. God has a word for you. Visit the website at www.prayingradio.org. Somebody is listening to me. It is time for you to push. I decree in the name of Jesus. You are pushing out your glory. You are pushing out your, your progress. You are pushing yourself out from the prison of trouble. You are pushing yourself out from the prison of delay. You are pushing yourself out from that sickness in the name of Jesus. You are pushing out. Come on, push out right now in the name of Jesus. The obsessions are lifted. The embargoes are lifted. The 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 limitations are broken in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. For this child I prayed. And I said so. For Samuel 1 27. For this child I prayed. So I pushed him out. And the Lord had given me my petition, which I asked of him. For this child I prayed. For this time, I pushed whatever you have been longing for, whatever you are awaiting to celebrate in the name of Jesus. I have come to the delivery room of heaven in the place of prayer. And right now, I'm pushing in the name of Jesus. May God grant your heart desire. May it be released to you. Marriages are being restored right now. Sicknesses are giving way right now. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. God said there is someone listening to me that you have been wasting money on investment and nothing is coming out from you. I hear from heaven. God said it is time for you to reap the labors of yesteryear. It is time for you to reap your labors of yesteryears in the mighty name of Jesus. Ekasokotomale, Rakinos Kataya, Enusese, Rahadusha, Makeprosi, Kenus Kataya, Andori Moskeria, Ruraki, 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 Te Mosikaria, Masopra Katuse, Eskosese, Rusha Kama Katuna Masira Handa, Apuri Mahanda, Una Seserua, Aruse Melu Caproni, Aruse Melu Caproni, Ilakusa Samaria, Rahashi, Rahashi, Rahashi Kutu. The days of scarcity is over. The days of trouble is over. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Prayer is an ugly necessity for provoking the total release of heavenly provisions. I will be right back. Let's connect with heaven because this is holy ground. And by the time I come over again, we're going to go deeper. Because today is a day for us to push. We are pushing right now. Get on the phone. Get on the internet. Call everybody because we are about pushing. We are about delivering something. Something is about coming out. Glory is about coming out. Joy is about coming out. Lifting is about coming out. That's your job you have been looking for. It's about coming out. We are pushing right now. We are praying until something happens. And I said, this boy, I prayed him out. I prayed him out. I prayed him out. Somebody is paying out the promotion you are looking for. You are going to pay it out today. We are riding on the wings of prayer to command them to come down. We are standing on holy ground. I will be right back. Glory to God, we are standing 
on holy ground. Ha, hallelujah. We are still pushing. Anna said, for this child I prayed. So we have come to realize by scriptural revelation that everything that would take place on earth is first of all rooted in the heavens. And prayer is a earthly necessity for provoking the release of heavenly provisions ordained for earthly situations so that there can be a betterment of destinies. Now, I want you to get set because right now we are entering into the pushing dimension where we push things out. And one of the areas where God has sent me to you today is to engage prayer for reversing irreversible judgment or decree. Reversing irreversible judgment or decree by the channel of prayer. Understand with me clearly also that not only is prayer an earthly necessity for provoking the release of heavenly provisions, prayer is also a supernatural machinery for reversal. Prayer is a supernatural machinery for reversal. When you engage prayer, you can reverse anything. We saw in James chapter 5 how Elijah who locked up the heavens by his prayer, reversed it by prayer. Prayer is a supernatural machinery for reversal. No matter what has gone wrong in your life, they can be reversed. No matter how long they have been there, they can be reversed. For instance, now someone is listening to me, your blood that has been tampered with, there is going to be a reversal. SS is being reversed to AA right now in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Somebody's destiny that has been tampered with by the forces of wickedness in the night, there is a reversal of whatever they have done negatively against your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. God is asking me to tell somebody that the note you receive, the letter you receive, the judgment you receive, that is going to reverse it for you. Instead of failure, you are getting success over here. Listen to me. No matter what petition they have raised against your life, there is going to be a reversal. Prayer is a supernatural machinery for reversal. Because it is loaded with power. Prayer is power loaded as an instrument for enforcing reversal. No matter what has gone wrong, no matter where the judgment or the decree has been placed, when you engage prayer revelationally, backed up with divine authority, it reverses any form of decree. No matter who has made the decree, it can be reversed by the channel of prayer. To be reversed means to alter, to change, to turn back. Uh -huh. So no matter what has been turned negatively in your life, it can be turned back via the channel of prayer. In Genesis chapter 20, something happened humorously, verse 16 to verse 18, that Abraham got into a country right from verse 1 called Gera, and the king of the country took Abraham's wife and was about to take her as a wife. And God showed up to the king and said to him, Man, you are a dead man if you don't return that man's wife back to him. Now, God now supernaturally by himself placed a judgment upon the whole city. Now, look at me very clearly. Look at this very clearly. In Genesis chapter 20, Abraham himself has said that Sarah is his sister. And in verse 3, God came to Abimelech in a dream by the night and said, Man, you are a dead man. <laughs> For the woman you have taken is another man's wife. I, I hear from heaven. Listen, God was so much committed to Abraham that he was even watching over his wife. <laughs> God was watching over Abraham's wife. When the king wanted to take her over, God was there. God showed up in the night. There is nothing God cannot use to fight. There is nothing God cannot use to defend you. I hear from heaven. There are people 
listening to me that there are certain personalities that have been sitting upon what belongs to you. I hear from heaven. God is going to visit them on your behalf. Whatever they have absorbed from you, whatever they have stolen from you, whatever they have cheated you of, God is going to visit them by the night. He's going to arise on your behalf in the name of Jesus. Hear me? There are, there are people listening to me. Your husband, somebody else has been hiring your husband and have been hijacking him. God is going to visit them by the night. Listen, God is committed to marital success. God went to go and visit the king in the night because he must not take Abraham's wife. God was so connected and committed to Abraham that he ensured that his wife was cannot be taken by nobody. God showed up to him in the dream by the night. Whosoever God needs to visit in the dream by the night because of your sake, so that what belongs to you that is in the Akia will be released to you. May God arise on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God arise on your behalf. There are people listening to me. Abraham could not fight it because he had no authority. He was in a land that he, he was a weak man. So they took his wife, but God was there to fight for him. In the name that is above every other name, wherever they have taken your husband, by style or by strategy, God is going to fight for you. Wherever they have taken your wife, by style or by strategy, God is going to fight for you. Whatever the adversary is doing to break your marriage, God is going to fight for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know why this is coming, but that is what God is showing me. That God was committed to fighting for Abraham where he could not fight for himself. Ah, any Shokaba. I lose the same Rukapaya where you cannot defend yourself, where you cannot fight for yourself. God is going to fight for you. God is going to defend you in the name of Jesus. I hear from heaven. God is saying someone is here that something that belongs to you was exchanged for somebody else. And because you have no voice, you cannot defend yourself. You cannot fight yourself. He said, I'm arising on your behalf. I'm fighting your battle for you. There is going to be a reversal. I'm bringing it back to you in the name of Jesus. God showed up. He said, man, you are a dead man. If you don't return that man's wife back to him. But the king feared God. And he returned the wife back to Abraham. But look at what happened. That is where we are going to. And in verse 14, Bible says, And Abimelech took sheep and oxen, and men servant and women servant, and gave them unto Abraham, and restored him Sarah's wife. Now, as committed as God was to Abraham's welfare, God made sure that not only was his wife restored, Abraham got things he did not even know before. I pray for you that whosoever has caused you pain, wherever they have caused you distress, wherever they have caused you trouble and sorrow, they will pay back with interest in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, this is where I'm trying to take you to. Where God honored prayer to bring forth a reversal of what judgment has already been placed on Abimelech and his house. Abimelech has not yet slept with Sarah, but judgment has already been placed upon his household. Look at what happened in verse 17. So Abraham prayed unto God, and God healed Abimelech, so God already struck him with sickness, and his wife, and his maid servant, and they bear children. Ah! What has happened? Why do we need prayer? Because in verse 18, God has fast closed up all the wombs of the house of Abimelech because of Sarah, Abraham's wife. God has already placed judgment not only on Abimelech, his wife, all his maid servants. They did not know anything about it. But their womb was closed. Why? Because somebody attempted to take somebody else's wife. God fought for Abraham with everything because of his wife. <laughs> Look at me. But God, even upon that judgment, said to Abimelech, when Abraham prays for you, there will be a reversal. When Abraham prays for you, there will be a reversal. When Abraham prays for you, there will be a reversal. In verse 7, he said, God, let Abraham pray for you because he's a prophet. When he prays for you, there will be a reversal. And when Abraham prayed unto God, all their wombs were open that have been closed, and Abimelech's health was restored. Hear yeah, me. I don't know who has used their own life to cause trouble for you, all because of Abimelech's action. 
all the servants in his household got their wombs closed. They know nothing about it. But judgment came upon them. There are many people that are passing through judgment they don't know anything about. But I have come in the name of Jesus. Because when Abraham prayed, there was a reversal. There was a, a, a decree that cannot be reversed by anything on earth. There is no medical personality that can reverse it. Because it was God that locked it up. God fast close. When they use the word fast, it means it was closed totally. There is no room for opening unless it is open by the one that closed it. Elus Kahanda. Rahado Shekeri Masiya. Oh sha 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 sha. Akunemos Keporid. Losusa Handre Hulahama. I pray for you that whatever penalty and judgment is upon your life that you know nothing about, but was placed upon you either because of connection or contact or relationship. I command the reversal. The judgment is over. Let the judgment be broken over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare many children are passing through judgment for what they did not know because of what their parent has done. Many parents are passing through judgment because of what their forefathers have done. But I have come in the name of Jesus. Every generational judgment, every household judgment, every societal judgment, every uh, cultural judgment that is upon your life or you are paying for that you know nothing about god is taking you out right now the judgment is broken in the name of jesus i command the reversal look at it the bible says god has first closed up the wombs of all the servants in many many tribes they got their wombs closed up they could not understand why they could not conceive but because a judgment has been placed upon their life ah i pray for you i don't know what step you have made every decision you have taken in your, in your life in the past that has attracted judgment to you i pray for you in the name of jesus mercy will speak on your behalf in the mighty name of jesus the judgment is revived every satanic judgment evil judgment that has been placed upon your marriage that judgment is cancelled every judgment that has been placed upon your children that judgment is cancelled listen to me when judgment are placed it ensures that nothing works when judgment was placed upon the house of abraham Nothing was working. Eh? Sickness upon his life. So there are many sickly people that the reason for their sickness is because judgment has been placed upon them. There are many wombs that have been closed because judgment has been placed upon them. But when Abraham played, the Bible says, and all of them, all of them, they bear children. In the name of Jesus, whatever good thing you're supposed to have produced that you could not produce because judgment is upon you, I declare a reversal. When Abraham prayed, there was a reversal of irreversible decree. The decree was instantly reversed. So prayer is essential. Prayer is power loaded to reverse irreversible decree. Every decree that is upon your life, the decree of failure, the decree of barrenness, the decree of frustration, the decree decree of joblessness every satanic decree of marital trouble every judgment of sorrow every judgment of sickness the judgment of affliction the judgment of promise and fail every judgment of unaccomplishment there are people they are placed a judgment upon them that nothing good will stand in their hand i command the judgment to be reversed in the name of jesus whatever judgment i shut up Two things from happening in your life. I shut up your wombs. I shut up your businesses. I shut up your joy. I shut up your future. I command today by the power of God in the place of prayer. The judgment is reversed in the name of Jesus. When Abraham prayed, the judgment was reversed. So prayer is God's provision. Even though God was the one that shut it. When prayer was engaged. It was open up because he prayed to God. So the same God he prayed to stretch forth his hand to open up what he has logged. In Numbers chapter 11, I'm still opening your understanding to how God has loaded power, prayer, with such a power to reverse irreversible decree. In Numbers chapter 11, verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord, and the Lord heard it. Mm. And his anger was kindled, and the fire of the Lord burned among them. So 
fire, God has fire. <laughs> Not only is God a consuming fire, God also has fire as agent. <laughs> the <laughs> Bible says, fire go before the Lord. That is, fire is God's, <laughs> God's security man. <laughs> when God is going, fire is going before him. <laughs> so, fire is God's protocol. God has fire as agent. <laughs> now, when they complained, God heard it. And his anger was kindled, and fire of the Lord burned among them and consumed them. That was in the uttermost camp, part of the camp. They complained. So, complaining is an attractor of destruction. Bible speaking said, do not murmur as they murmured, and they were destroyed of the destroyer. So complaining is an attractor of destruction. When they complained, God heard it, and it displeased him. So God is not happy with complainers. Please understand me. Your complaining does not change situation. When you complain and complain and complain, it worsens and makes situation complex. The Bible says, and the people, when they complain, it displeases the law. And when God is displeased, what's supposed to be dispersed to you will be delayed. Mm. But in verse 2, the people cried unto Moses, and when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched. <laughs> when Moses prayed unto the Lord. Now, follow me and be under, underlining the word unto the Lord. Prayer is not for showing forth. It is unto the Lord. We are not to pray demonstrating skills. We are praying to get results. Come on now. <laughs> when Moses prayed unto Unto the Lord. Bible said the fire was quenched. So there was a judgment from heaven, <laughs> but prayer that was made on earth reversed the judgment. Prayer is a supernatural reversing power. Prayer is a supernatural reversing force. It reverses anything, no matter where the judgment is coming from. Now, if judgment can come from heaven and prayer by mercy can reverse it, no matter where judgment is coming from, they can be reversed. Ah, where they have said that you cannot make headway, ah, we are praying right now because we are pushing in the labor room of prayer. You are making headway. We declare reversal in the name of Jesus. Your house is not going for foreclosure. For you are not losing your business. You are not losing your family. You are not losing your children in the name of Jesus. You are not losing your home in the name of Jesus. You are not losing your job in the name of Jesus. No matter the judgment that has been placed upon you, they are reversed in the name of Jesus. Even though the judgment was a due one, prayer reversed it. And when Moses prayed, the fire was quenched. Every fire that is burning in your life, burning in your marriage, burning in your finances, burning in your body, burning down your goodness, I command them to be quenched off in the precious name of Jesus. Prayer can reverse due judgments. This was a due judgment. They were due for it. But when they connected with the machinery of prayer, the judgment was reversed. Prayer can reverse adverse judgment. Judgment you are not due for, but was placed upon you. Prayer can reverse it. Prayer is a supernatural reversing force. When it is activated, it can reverse no no it can reverse any situation, no matter where that situation is coming from. When there are adverse judgments, prayer can reverse it. When the judgment is coming from the pit of hell, prayer can reverse it. When the judgment is coming from anywhere else, no matter who is making it, prayer can reverse it. In the book of Esther, by the channel of prayer, a judgment that was placed upon the Jew by Armand was reversed. Irreversible decree because whatever the king assigned becomes irreversible. Bible says no man can alter it. No man can change it. No man can reverse it. But Esther said, we are going to do something. 
know what we're going to do? Let us fast and pray for three days. By the time we come out from the closet of prayer, we will already have pushed. Listen to me. What we do in prayer is to push so that when we get out, our result must show off. When a mother pushes, she must carry out something. When you push in the place of prayer, something must show up for you. In a hand of when Esther pushed, there was a reversal. The hand of God reversed the judgment that was made upon them by men. I don't know where men has placed judgment upon you. I don't know the judgment and the decree. They could have said you cannot be healed. They could have said you cannot be a mother. They could have said it is not possible. You cannot excel again. They could have said it is over for you. But I have come in the name of Jesus, riding on the wings of prayer. It is not over for you. You are still going to make it. You are making that way. Something good is happening to you. Something great is coming your way. In the name of Jesus, you are working again. You are going to become a mother. In the name of Jesus, you are going to become a father. In the name of Jesus, you are not losing your job. You are not losing your mind. You are not insane. In the name of Jesus. In the hand of Oscar. Refuse to accept defeat. Because prayer can reverse irreversible decree now i will be right back and once i come back we are going to be praying for every form of situation we are going to be declaring reversal i don't know what judgment has been placed on you by a doctor they could have said you have five days to leave i have a word for you there is a voice of prayer that can reverse irreversible decree I'm going to engage prayer. And by the time we come back, no matter who, get them on the line. Get the sick on the line. Whatever you want God to reverse, there's going to be a reversal now. Instant reversal. Because all the scriptures we saw, the reversal was instant. When Abraham prayed, the womb was open. When Moses prayed, the fire was quenched. When Esther and the Jew prayed, the judgment was reversed. No matter the judgment, there is a God that can reverse irreversible decree. I will be right back. Let's connect with heaven because uncommon manifestation must take place in your life. Get on the phone right now. Just a few minutes to go and we are going to be engaging prayer, pushing out what ought to be reversed. No matter what needs to be reversed, if you have a letter you have received, get them out right now. Because as the voice of God is coming out from my mouth, something is going to happen. The same people that wrote you that they denied you there's going to be a reversal they are going to write you again that we are sorry we made a mistake in the name of jesus glory be to god someone is listening to me they have taken away your children god said they are going to restore that to them back to you they are going to reverse it in the name of jesus glory be to god i will be right back daddy i just want to take a little time out and worship you I want to join in with the angels and do what they do in heaven. All hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Let angels fall. Straight forward, bringing forth the royal die, your death and crown him. Yes, yes, crown him the Lord of God. That is who he is. He is awesome. He is powerful. He is mighty. God is a God of total reversal. And he has made available for us as his children the machinery of prayer to enforce and stir up supernatural reversal. Prayer is supernaturally loaded to stir up reversal. No matter what judgment and decree has been made, there can be a reversal on the altar of prayer. Prayer can reverse sicknesses. It can reverse the judgment of sickness. Prayer can reverse it. In Second Chronicles chapter 33, 
from verse 10 to 13 talking about manasseh when manasseh cried to god and he prayed the judgment of sickness upon his life was reversed prayer can reverse the judgment of death when Ezekiah was at the point of death in second kings chapter 19 bible says and he prayed and the sentence of death as well as sickness upon his life was reversed prayer can reverse unfavorable situation no matter how the situation has been prayer can reverse the situation when you pray, prayer changes the situation. It reverses situation that has been working adversely. No matter what the circumstances is, no matter what the, ju the, the, the judgment may be, prayer is made available by God to reverse the judgment that has been placed upon destiny therefore i have come in the name of jesus i pray for the sick that the judgment of sickness over your life is reversed i command cancer to be reversed they will no longer find it there again in your body in the name of jesus i decree sicknesses be consumed by the power of god in the name of jesus the sentence of death upon your life is disannulled in the name of jesus i command the voices that are said your marriage is not going to work i cancel it in the name of jesus i ride on the wings of prayer and i declare every children that has been performing below standard the judgment is reversed in the name of jesus no matter whatever you have been diagnosed with go back to the doctor because it is reversed it is reversed it is reversed in the name of jesus i command high blood pressure be normalized diabetes be healed right now arthritis be healed right now my great be healed right now cancer be healed right now whatever the sickness is be you are healed in the name of jesus therefore i declare every businessman and every businesswoman that your businesses have been scrolling i command the reversal you are getting higher you are, you are breaking boundaries you are stepping into a new act in the name of jesus i pray for every minister of the gospel in the name that is above every other name fresh anointing fresh oil fresh grace expansion enlightenment great impact in the name of jesus and i declare everyone that is of marriageable age that no one is coming forth in the place of marriage i decree if by the power of heaven you are supernaturally married in the name of jesus everyone believing god for the fruit of the womb i command your wombs to be open i command your wombs to be open right now all over the wave the willing power of god is flowing the hand of god is flowing wherever you are listening to me begin to push right now begin to push two more minutes to go begin to push Pray until something happens. Whatever you want there to be a reversal, there must be a reversal right now. Begin to ask whatever judgment you have received. I want a reversal. I want a reversal. Rakamoskele. Emprosusalandere. Rosaza. Akushekereto. Prenos Aloklando. Emprosusa. Prenos to Pekete. Elenandro Yamakataza. Susamele Prokute Suseria. Rando Sasuka Po. Enteli Krane. Rukate Katusere. Rando Suseria. Begin to push right now. There must be a reversal. There must be a reversal. I decree a reversal. In the name of Jesus. I decree a reversal. Thank you, my Father. Lift up your voice, everyone. Magnify the Lord. It is done. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's a divinely ordained force for reversing irreversible decree. Now, right now, before we round up this broadcast, I'd like to let you understand that prayer works best by connection. Everywhere we saw prayer change or reverse order, it was prayed unto God. It was prayed unto God. Uh, Moses prayed unto God. Abraham prayed unto God. Esther prayed unto God. Uh, Ezekiah prayed unto God. You see, Manasseh prayed unto God. So the God you have no connection with, you have nothing to connect from him. The deeper your connection, the greater your connections on the altar of prayer. The deeper your connection the greater your collections on the altar of prayer so prayer works best 
when there is an established connection between you and God you are praying to. In John chapter 15 verse 7, Jesus himself said, You remain in me. So everyone listening to me on radio, prayer works by connection. And you are not connected to him, or you are once connected to Jesus, and you have lost your place of connection. I am here to pray with you. I want you to come before him in humility and confess your sins before him. Because prayer works by connection. When you have a solid connection with him, the tighter the connection, the better the collections. The tighter the connection, the better the and greater the collections. So I want to pray with you. You are saying I want to accept the lordship of Jesus over my life. I want to give him room to rule and direct my life because when he's in control, he puts you in control. You want to say, I have once come to him before, but I have moved out of him. I want to be restored back to him. I am here to pray with you. Everywhere you are listening to me, just lift up your voice and pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins before you. Have mercy upon me. I believe that you died and rose again to give me life. Today, I accept you as my Lord. I'm my savior. Write my name in the book of life. I believe I am born again. I believe I am a child of God in Jesus' name. Welcome to the family of God. I pray over you that the grace of God that has brought you will sustain you. From today, God will give you perpetual hatred for sin and will release unto you unusual love for God. In the precious name of Jesus. May the goodness of God be upon your life. May the favor of God be upon your destiny. In the precious name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' precious name we pray. I congratulate you. Because something uncommon and unusual. Has just taken place in your life. There has been a reversal. Of every satanic judgment. That has been placed upon your life. The judgment of destruction has been reversed because Jesus said, I have come to give you life and life eternal. So he has reversed the judgment of destruction by the adversary and he has brought you into the kingdom of his marvelous son and his dear son. Welcome to the kingdom of God. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Everyone that has listened to this broadcast today, I declare you blessed. May the goodness of the Lord be upon you. May the grace of the Lord sustain you in the mighty name of Jesus. By the reason of this broadcast, you are stepping into a higher dimension of goodness. Whatever you have asked on this broadcast today, let there be supernatural testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I know that God has met with you. And I know you already have a testimony. Uh, I look forward to glorifying God with you because Him alone deserves all the glory. So i like to receive your report or the testimony of what God has used this prayer to do in your life, you can email it to me at testimonies at prayingradio.org. Testimonies at prayingradio.org. And if you have any prayer request, you can email it to prayer at prayingradio.org. Prayer at praying Arlington, Texas. Our Sunday service is old. On Sundays, every Sunday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon and always there is always live broadcast of all our services on the empowerment brain radio and we have our thursday midweek service 7 p.m to 9 p.m where we come together to share the word of the lord and to engage the force of prayer for supernatural delivery of god's provision and heaven's agenda for our life i believe god with you that in the name of jesus this week is declare your best week ever and the glory of the lord will rise upon you in jesus precious name we pray god bless you remain empowered till i come your way again next week on prophetic encounter moment keep spreading the news keep broadcasting it there is somebody you can help by connecting them to praying radio tell them about it that god is using this to turn destinies around and i'm coming back again on monday for a fresh episode of prophetic encounter moment with benjamin berkeley till i come your way stay empowered 
keep empowering others and remain lifted. God bless you. Amen. They call.